Hey guys, today we are actually in Chinatown here in Singapore and right, right now what we're doing is we're looking for souvenirs, looking at all the different souvenirs. We found some really cool stuff that's very, very cheap. We are, I don't know the name of the show, it says Chinatown Street Market, literally right up there, so we're on the Chinatown Street Market. There are literally so many of these souvenir gift shops. We have one here, one here, that's a boba place, one there, one down there. And then on the other side we have one right there, I think that's one, I think there's a couple more down there. But the souvenirs are super cheap, they have keychains, we saw some magnets, like everywhere has like the same stuff. So what it's really cool to do is, you know, what you have to do is look at every single one to find the one that has the best deals. I think these keychains are super cool and they're only a dollar. Well, it's five for five, so I guess once you get five, it's a dollar. It's really cool that they have chocolates shaped like the Merlion, like so many different flavors too. Milk chocolate. This is almond milk chocolate. They have a durian chocolate. I don't know if the durian is actually in the chocolate or if that's just a durian box. I don't know, but it's cool and they're like super cheap. Uh, I don't know how much these are. Three for ten. Three for ten. Three for I can't get that across how cheap that is. Like, if this thing is full of like even like six or seven chocolates, that is so, so cheap. If this was back home, let's say they had something from like Orlando, like the Orlando Eye, I guarantee something like this would be like $20 US. Three for ten is like three for seven US dollars, guys. Seven US dollars for three of those, that's crazy. And they have cookies. That's pretty cool. How much are these? It actually um, two for, no, no that's, that's that, that's two for 15. I don't know. Hey, they even have Kit Kats. Uh, are there any Merlion Kit Kats? Uh, no. no, it doesn't look like Merlion. I can't believe this. You know, I would totally buy this and take it home if we were going directly home yeah. as like souvenirs. Mm -hmm. But we're not going home after this. We're yeah, going to Japan. Japan so that's a little annoying. The deals are real here, guys. <laughs> Three for 10 souvenir shirts. Yes, please. So much of a yes, please that we actually did buy yeah. some earlier. We didn't buy them at one of the stores here. We were just walking in a different place. Just that's on the side. Stand. It was literally a stand on the side of the sidewalk and we're like yes we want those three for ten i like the ones that we got these i'm not such a huge fan of oh this one's pretty neat i like this one i like the one that has like the word clouds like that but yeah we had to get some souvenir shirts at least i did did you get one yeah i did get one okay i don't know if i got two or i didn't know how many i got i just know i got at least one. Oh no it looks like it might be raining soon that's yeah, terrible it rains it rains yeah Great last time here. we were here in this area of chinatown it rained that was last year right yeah, it was scary and we got our shoes like all soaked and wet. That yeah. was terrible. But we did just make an observation. All these souvenirs closest to the station are much cheaper. She just got hit with a drop lot. Yeah, everyone's starting to like spread out. There's like not many people here right now. But yeah, we want to make sure you guys know that. Cheaper souvenirs that way. We haven't checked this way. Don't mind Crystal. She just found her best friend here. It's the Singapore Merlion having some ice cream. Here at the uh, Singapore Gift Gate. Isn't Gift Gate like San Rio or something? I don't know, but it's so cool. It There's like another one right here. You're right. So while we've been walking around here in Chinatown, we've noticed a lot like of uh, different Merlion stuff at like, every single yeah. place. Everyone has like their own design or like a, a little like photo area. But Crystal is liking this one right here. We just noticed that they actually have another Merlion here. Welcome to Singapore. And Crystal place. liked this souvenir store so much, she did not hesitate to buy something. Yes. Show us what you got, Chris. <laughs> I got this kawaii headband. That is so, so cool. Like, the Merlion here is kawaii, like this yes. shop. That's why yeah. it looks like this. So the, um, I looked it up too. Giftgate apparently is San Rio. So like Crystal said, this is probably a play off of Giftgate. I don't think San Rio owns this, but yeah. it's cute like San Rio. And I got this headband. I'm going to wear it in the arcade. Are you? Yeah, I am. You know, I really like the stuffed toy they have right there. It has a camera and everything. Perfect. But I think they said it's 40 Singapore. Yeah, and that's like 28 US. Like oh that's God. that's actually pretty expensive. The stuff in here is actually a little bit more pricey mm -hmm. than the other souvenirs. Yeah. But this was only like what, seven? Yeah, seven dollars. Seven Singaporean dollars? Yeah. So it's like five dollars US. Like that's actually pretty Thank worth you. it in my opinion. Today's video is sponsored by Clue. Clue has an easy to use mobile app and website where you can book fun travel experiences. We recently decided to use Clue to plan out our upcoming trip to Sanrio Land in Japan. It was very easy to just search for Sanrio in Japan, and boom, what we wanted popped up instantly. The general admission tickets prices were even cheaper on Clue than through Sanrio directly. We snapped those entry tickets up, and we are ready to go when we get to Japan. Clue also has something really cool called 
called the Clute Pass Greater Tokyo. With this pass, you can bundle up some of the experiences you want to do while you are in Tokyo and save some money in the process. There are over 35 different experiences to choose from. Joypolis, the Tokyo Sky Tree, and Disney are just a few of the possibilities that can be added to this pass to create your own perfect Tokyo experience. Crystal is jamming out to this Boba Place's music. They have like their own songs about coming and getting the sweet tea. I only know that not because I understand Mandarin or whatever Chinese or whatever it's saying, yeah. but they actually have it in English too. Oh my gosh, they do? I didn't even hear it. Well, right now it's not. It's in uh, Mandarin Earlier? or Chinese. Yeah. Earlier it was saying, come get your sweet tea. She's saying right there, you heard ice cream yeah, and tea. But we're going to get one because guys, these prices are like crazy. Look at this. Look 250 $2.50. What the heck? This that's is like, the cheapest boba ever That's less than $2. This one actually doesn't have boba until you add it. Right, right. Now it's $3. Now it's $2.10 so US. Cents US. $2 boba is way too expensive. Is but we're going to get it anyway. Do you want 100%? Uh, no, it's going to do It's something. always risky going to a new place that you've never been to because yeah. you never know how sweet the sweet drinks will be. I'm going to get one of the fruit teas. I'm probably going to get like the punch right in your face. I think I, ooh, they have grapefruit. You can get extra grapefruit. If you don't, guys don't know, Crystal loves the grapefruit. Crystal, you look so shiny. I'm sweating. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna get some boba. I'm gonna go over 100% because I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna get this and try it out. So after listening to it for a while, guys, it's just their slogan right here that they're singing. It says, I love you, you love me, Mixu ice cream and tea. I love you, you love me, mix you ice cream and tea. <laughs> but we did go ahead and get our drinks. It was five US dollars, guys, which is crazy. And looks oranges. like they have merch here. Sweet home, what are the oranges grow? Oh, it's only eight bucks. Oh, it actually doesn't want me to take it out. No, Look, no, I'm it trying to take it out. Yeah, just display. Oh, what the heck? It actually is display. Okay, that's not good enough to up. You know, Crystal has so many cups like this, and we don't really have anymore, space for it. Oh no. I'm trying to get you out of trying to get it, Chris. Come on, stop it. Here she comes with the drinks. And what a face on her. <laughs> All right. So mine actually has actual slices. Like, they just punched you in the face. I hope it punches our taste buds here, because we actually don't know. Mine's 100% sugar. Chris's is only half, so 50%. Give it. This is going to be good. Give it a taste, Chris. I see what you did there. She said peach, please. Like, you guys know that. If you don't know, you don't need to know. All right, so let us know. Is it good? And we both got boba in it. They didn't put much boba, actually, in it. So glad that I got the paper set. I think George is gonna be very sweet. Oh, is it super sweet? The peach is literally real peach. I mean, I wouldn't expect fake like, peach. It's a peach being diced and cut up. Oh, so it's not just like pulp. No. It's oh, they put peach. whole peach. What the? It's See, at least so they put good. slices in mine. I mean, I know what to expect in this. Although with mm. Crystal's, she really likes peach, so I bet she's loving it. I don't know what crazy talk Crystal is saying, but this is literally perfect sweetness at a hundred percent. And I know yours has got to be bitter, so how the heck is that enough? It's not. Okay, that's probably better for our health to actually have that one, but this one's better for the taste blood. Check it out, guys. We actually saw this earlier, but we didn't realize it's the same as Giftgate Merlion. And this is so awesome. I love it. It looks so cool. Like the LED light, or it's not LED, but the light that's doing the water part is so cool. And Joe actually has a basket of stuff going. It's not big <laughs> I, got, I got some magnets in here. And this. Yes. Ooh, yes. This is one of this. It's a little uh, foldable tote. Yeah, we actually need these because when we go to arcades, yes. we get so many prizes and it gets really cumbersome to hold everything. <laughs> yeah. This will definitely help. I was hoping that they would have the plush, the really cute plush, but they don't have it here. They actually don't have any plush here. The cute little merlion. That sucks. Well, I think we are done with Chinatown right now. We got all the souvenirs we could possibly want. We got all the humidity that we could possibly want. Like, I think it rained a little bit. I am literally, like, dripping with water. Crystal's just getting pictures of flowers, because that's what she does. I just love flowers. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. We've actually never gone into that mall over there, so we're headed that way to try to explore. Just like, right now, it's actually sprinkling a little bit. You can't really tell. I feel like I'm drowning. It's hot. I'm drowning out here, guys. It's <laughs> and the sun's not even out. Right, it's just so humid. Look at Angel, he's swimming. Where's the water? <laughs> We just saw down at the bottom where they have the decorations and the, me and the median between the two roads. The first time we came here, they actually had, it, I believe it was Year of the Pig? Or was that last time we came? It was Year of the Pig the first time we came. Okay, the first, very first trip we came to Singapore, they had it decorated for Year of the Pig. You can see they have Year of the Dragon decor down there. And last time we came, I think we missed it as well. Mm -hmm. 
But man, I bet that was so cool with all the dragon stuff, all the lucky gold bars there. Oh, check these out, guys. They are cream custards. And do you guys Whoa, see the someone has a paste one. Yes. It's a tangerine bow with cream custard. Oh. Look at the bunny. Yeah, the bunny one is a rabbit bun with purple sweet potato. And then this one has coconut jelly. We're about to go eat dinner, so we really can't, you know, get one of these. But we had to show them because we just came across it. Mmm, that smells amazing. Yes, it does. I don't remember what we ordered, Chris. You have to tell me because I wasn't here. I had to wash we my got, hands. I don't remember the exact name, but it's... Scalloped rice. Okay. And it has some spice to it. Oh, I remember last time. So we're actually at this place called White Restaurant. We mm -hmm. came here last time we were here in Singapore. Yeah. And we really liked it. And it's like literally right across from the arcade. Yeah. So it's like perfect, guys. It's good. This is like the perfect mall to come to uh -huh. to play arcade games. Mm -hmm. Eat some good local Singaporean food. Because I believe White started here in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Right by um, White Restaurant. They have... Uh, Song Pho, yeah, which is oh, so good. My favorite oh. bakate place here. Oh, this is not too spicy for you. Either. I remember last time it was spicier than I would like normally like, yeah. but I could eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, today's not the same day, guys. I mm -hmm. probably should start oh, off with yeah. that. Yeah, so we uh, later that day, that was just yesterday, mm -hmm. we actually went to uh, Din Tai Fung. Yeah. And we didn't record anything. We forgot. <laughs> yeah, we had some really good food. Mm -hmm. We'll probably go again on this trip. Maybe not here in Singapore, but in Japan. But anyway, mm -hmm. it is a new day. We are here at the arcade just having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Losing our voices as best as we can. <laughs> trying to get Yelling, rid of those voices. Yelling. Having a great yeah. time. I really love coming here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to eat this. I don't know what we're going to do the rest of this day. I don't even know if we're going to record anything else. <laughs> I thought I would share this amazing looking food. It smells so good. Smell. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me uh, give you guys some um, <laughs> smells here. The smells are free, guys. Can take them. Take them in. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and eat this. Mm -hmm. I hope the next thing you guys see is something fun. Looks like it's time for some more food. Best time. Yes. Time. We got a tea here. What kind a, of tea is that? Um, Earl, Earl Grey. Grey lemon tea. Yeah, and this right here is a duck pastry. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be so tasty. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, we are actually at a uh, where's the Tai Fung. Yeah, I was trying to show it. Here it is. <laughs> it says it right there. If you yep. can uh, read it, it says Din Tai Fung. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. We always enjoy this place every time we come. Yeah. Like we said earlier. Uh, well, it's a new day now. Mm -hmm. Like we said previously, we actually had this place earlier on this trip. Yep. Second time. Because it's so good. We're going to enjoy it. Oh, open it up, Angel. Are you ready My for this? My favorite part. Yes, I'm ready. Whoa, look at all that steam. Look at all this beautifulness. Oh, these are oh, going to be so tasty. Super tasty. I can't wait to dig in. Yeah, they're going to be really hot though right now because, let me look at it. You can see it all. <laughs> so you're supposed to bust them open yeah. a little bit. Get some of the little juices out. Because mm -hmm. if you were to shove this in your mouth right now, you would end you would. up with your tongue falling yes, out definitely. of the mouth. Last but certainly not least, ooh, we got the pork chop with the uh, rice. Mm -hmm. oh, this is actually one of the things they're really known for, besides the uh, the pork fowls, mm -hmm. the soup dumplings. This is so good. So I think this is probably all we're going to end up getting. Although, we might get more. Yeah, it's just a, do we want dessert? Probably. <laughs> we'll probably go somewhere else and get dessert. But this food looks so good. It tastes so good. I haven't ate this yet. My nose is going to be so good. <laughs> hey, take a bite real fast. Just can you... Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> the only thing you guys are going to see is us eating food. And now we are trying a place called Sanook Kitchen. Cooking authentic Thai food. It is Thai-tastic. And oh, man, this is going to be good. All right, so this is Crystal's Pad Thai. Oh, yes. And oh, going to show this. You might be wondering, why the heck is there popcorn here? Oh. I don't know, but apparently every table gets one as like an appetizer. Isn't that insane? I mean, we didn't even get a chance to eat it because so the food came cool. so fast. Man, Crystal's been wanting some pad thai, yeah. and so we're like, we have to find some. It's funny, the arcade is like right there behind us. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I got some basil chicken rice or something. Yeah. So we'll have to see what that is whenever it gets here. Crystal's been, like I said, she's been wanting some uh, pad thai. Mm -hmm. And like, this was only like, what, seven Singaporean dollars? Yep. So what is that, like five U.S. dollars? So cheap. So cheap for that stuff. So it looks like my food is served. I noticed it came with an egg. Not sure why it's there. I don't. I never actually had it Thai might be food. Authentic. Maybe it is. Got some rice, and this is the basil chicken. Looks like it has some kind of like green beans in it. I know Crystal would love this because she loves green beans. The egg looks really good. I'm gonna try it. I'm a little hesitant. I'm not gonna lie. It's not something I would normally eat, but I'll see how it is. So it looks like there's chicken in there, green beans, 
basil and some onions and Angel said that it's pretty tasty. I don't really care for onions, so yeah. these are not big ones. The little ones I'll eat. Mm, I'll take that off your plate. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Special delivery. Thank you. My pad thai is amazing. I'm loving it. You eat the shrimp. Yeah. Oh, the prawns. The prawns. Yeah, they're prawns, and there's one more right there. You know what, guys? We're having too many days in this vlog, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. It's a brand new day again. Yeah. We're about to start our day, but I did want to show you something that we got in Chinatown at the beginning of this vlog, you which guys was are not ready for this. days ago at this point. But Crystal is actually wearing it. Mm -hmm. Do you spot it? It's not the new shirt. If you know, you probably know. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you. <laughs> it is her charm right here. When we were in Chinatown, we went to this jewelry store, this like gold store, and we got Crystal a nice, <laughs> awesome pendant right here. And it is Stitch. Oh, how cool is this, guys? That thing is 24 karat gold. It's so cute. I love it so much. I cannot believe how affordable the jewelry is here. Mm -hmm. Like, that would be so expensive back home. I know, especially with it being 24 carats. Like, my eyes were like, boom, like super big. Like, whoa. Yeah. It would be a lot more expensive. Yeah, it was only, I would say only because back home, this thing would have been so expensive. Mm -hmm. It was only a couple hundred bucks for that. Yeah. Which is crazy. It's like mind blowing to me because it's not like hollow. It yeah. actually has a little bit of weight to it, not a ton it's of weight. Super cute too. I mean, it probably is hollow too. But anyway. <laughs> Wanted to show you guys that because that thing is so cool and she does have a new shirt on. Oh yeah, it's true. She has a uh, poo shirt. We got that at the arcade. <laughs> yeah. But we are going to wrap this video up here. The next couple days are going to be really busy for us, but who knows what we might get into. I actually don't know. Yeah. But we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.